Hey, it's Labor Day 2017. We're at the West Branch Trailhead in uh, where we're at. Northern Colorado. <laughs> we'll be out here for four days and three nights and uh, taking this up to the uh, Rewa Wilderness, camping at Twin Crater Lakes and then uh, a couple of the Rewa Lakes and then Upper Camp Lake. Action! There goes Dustin. Oh! Watch out! All right, this is camp for the night. Dustin and Bob are having a siesta on the other side of the lake. And they're gonna be coming over this way. Kind of right in between the Twin Crater Lakes. A couple hundred feet off the first lake, so. Not the most uh, camp, or uh, rather tent friendly area. We passed a lot of campsites on the way up, but uh, as far as camping right here on the water, it's pretty rocky. Not a lot of even ground, but uh, here in the west end of it, it's about as good as it's gonna get. So that's where we're at. Dustin, what do you think of your first Colorado hike? Backpack hike. Backpack hike. It was rough, I'm not gonna lie. But you made it. I made it. Yeah. Gotta reduce some weight I mean, on my my body as well as my as well as your pack. As well as my pack. Bob, what was your uh, ten thousand up and up is definitely a doozy. <laughs> Yeah, once you hit 10,000, it was like, bam. Like a, it was about every 40 feet. I was like breaking. a wall. That was a wall. It's tough. It's pretty here on the Twin Crater Lakes. Smoky as hell. So not the best views today, but it's supposed to clear out tonight. I'm going to bring this up. I think we logged about, what, seven and a half miles? Yeah. I forget what I said. For sure you said it was six. I kept telling him it was five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then only, be over seven. only about three quarters of a mile left for about four miles straight. But, uh, oh, let's take a look. 2,700 feet of elevation gained. And uh, we started about a quarter to 11 and got here about 4.30 with a break for lunch and some rests here and there. And if this phone ever boots up, we'll see how far we went. Let's see, today we went. Uh, seven and a half miles, so definitely uh, a good way to break in, I guess. Oh, yeah. 
So next couple days should be easier. We're going to Rewa Lakes tomorrow and then Upper Camp Lake the day after that. And those are both about, supposedly, four miles each. <laughs> four miles of hiking each way. That's it. The sun's going down. It's chilly and we're starving. So talk to you tomorrow. As a look back up, this is the drainage from the lakes. So we were camped up at the uh, top of the ridge there and over to the west. Right away. Coming up on Grassy Pass. All right, we just came over Grassy Pass. About a mile to go, maybe. Sheep Mountain. Still pretty smoky from all the wildfires. Very pretty, very chilly up here. Our first moose sighting of the trip, the old bull. Looks like maybe a pair of bulls. There's another one behind the tree there. All right, so this is camp for Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Raywa Lake number two. We saw two bull moose at Lake three. A moose cow and her calf with antlers at the creek up here. And it looked like another bull hiding in the, hiding in the woods there. It's pretty nice, it's got a fire ring. Dustin's been crying for a fire. Now he gets his fire. So what'd you think of hiking today, Dustin? Give the recap. Better, except my feet are a little torn up. Today was today was quite easy. No problems. Plus an accurate mileage estimate. Same as every day. Yeah. Let's see what do we do today? 5.2 miles and negligible elevation. So here we are, time to eat. On that nature, we'll just end ourselves and then yeah. nature will come back.
otherwise we would have been in bed by like eight. Two hours before we were. Yeah, it was brutally cold. <laughs> well, you got the same idea, huh? Yeah. So last look at the Ray Wild Lakes. This is Lake One. We're headed to Upper Camp Lake today. This hit Camp Lake. This is the lower of the two. We're headed for Upper Camp Lake. Pretty easy hike today. And the final approach to Upper Camp Lake. Look at that sheep mountain. This is another like bowl. Uh huh, Cirque. Oh. Yeah. And we are just about at the end of the trail, so we're kind of cutting our own here. So this is Upper Camp Lake. This might be a bust as far as actually camping here. Just a lot of thickets and wet ground. And there's elk behind me. Up on a ridge, so we're gonna go up there. See if maybe there's something flat and dry. Otherwise, we'll end up heading back down to the lower lake. All right, Dustin has gone 100% backwoods and uh, constructed us a temporary wilderness approved bench. He carried every single one of these logs over, which justifies the fact that he brought all manner of protein rich foods on this trip, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tuna. Tuna, sardines, the works. So this is camp third times the charm. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, where are we here? We are on the, I guess, north side. No, we're on the south side of Camp Lake, the lower, the first Camp Lake. And on the other side of Sheep Mountain from where we camped last night. So kind of got all the views here. Not too bad. Swing it back around. And so we originally camped, oh, we were gonna camp in the upper lake, which is up in here. That sucked. There was really no good spots. We found a couple of existing sites, but they were surrounded by dead trees, not a lot of room to work with, and a lot of mosquitoes, actually. First mosquitoes to speak of the whole trip. So then we went on that side of the lake, and again found an existing site or two, and none of them were too hot. You can't see anything from in the woods there, and it's a swamp slog to try to get down to the lake to get water. So it just kind of sucked. So we came back around here. We saw this site when we were hiking back out of Upper Camp Lake. Thought we'd give it another try. This one's a big winner for views and there's a creek right behind it. So we got water. So that's it. And a second night with a fire. So that's a bonus. This is looking back towards our camp from the lake. It's Dustin's tent. Bob's sticking out behind it. Mine's a little bit over to the right. We just saw a big old bull moose in those trees. There's a ridge right behind our camp. And he's kind of walking down the stream, probably on his way to the uh, moose buffet behind me here. Bear with me. So here's Camp Lake behind us. And same as the entire trip, we're the only people here, which is great. And here we're bookending our day with moose. So this is Lower Camp Lake, this guy. It's hopefully just gonna pass us by and go chill at the lake.
Good morning from day number four down here at Camp Lake in the Rewa. Breaking down camp. The final morning. <laughs> Drying some stuff out. Still eating. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he even like went to sleep. This is obviously his leg, bro. Yeah. We just hiked down Camp Camp Lake Trail for five miles, two and a half hours. Now we're back at the West Branch Trail to get back to the truck. Not a bad trail. The first half was kind of man-made next to that ditch they tried to dig here. And then uh, maybe the last mile, mile and a half kind of sucked. Very rocky and the usual, you gotta look at your feet the whole way so it's pouring as shit. But, uh, it hurts your neck looking down the whole time. Yeah, not the most fun. Here we are. Hopefully be out of here in an hour and a half or so and probably head for beer at New Belgium and food. Real food. Yeah, something solid. Something <laughs> other than nuts and berries. Something other, something <laughs> non-chili mac related. Yep. About a mile from the truck. Assuming the truck is still there. Dustin in full Beastmaster backpacking mode. Made it back to the truck. The truck is still here. Thank God. Four days and three nights in the Rewa. Uh, what'd you think, Dustin? What was your favorite bit? Uh, once we got up there to the first lake, Crater Lake, pretty rewarding. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice view. Uh, saw the fox up there. Lower Camp Lake, and then yeah, up at Twin Crater Lake was pretty uh, jaw dropping. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I don't know what my favorite was. Crater Lake was really cool, high alpine, really rugged mountains right there. Those Rewa lakes were awesome with all the moose, and even last night having that bull moose just kind of amble on by, that was pretty sweet. So yeah, kind of three for three on the camp. Good trip, as always. Thanks for tagging along. See you later. Call sign. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe.